Wait, you're not sharing. Oh, I am. Oh, no, I'm not sharing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Arcade live stream. I'm multitasking. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm Vivian. <laughs> I'm at Lift <laughs> That's a new and name. I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Hassan at Hassan on the Make Code Forums. I'm Joey at J Wonder on the Make Code Forums. I'm Richard. Never shoot on the Make Code Forum. Oh my gosh, we can't see you guys. Hold on. <laughs> Got I'm Shannon. I should come on the Make Code Forum. Oh, sorry, Shannon. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's cool. Oh, no. Okay, wait. You guys Is this the on? most people we've ever had on the call at once? Yeah, the full yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you guys. You guys got a vamp. I need to figure out how to get you back. <laughs> we disappeared. Oh, so we're just like ghosts. Yeah, Richard's them. corner. Um, so I guess let's talk about our game idea generator. Um, this was something that we made a while ago in our tenth stream. Um, so way way back. And the idea is it's going to generate a random game idea for us to for us to code, more specifically for Vivian to code. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it has four parts. What are the parts, Shannon? Um, the first part is an adjective. Um, and the second part is a genre. The third one is a setting. And then we have like a wild card. So, you know, a feature or an animal or something that you should include in your game. Um, yeah, and when you put them all together, you get a game idea like, Joey? Like... Steam-powered narrative in an archipelago uh, featuring dogs you can pet. Yeah. I have to read it from the screen, so. That's pretty good, yeah. Um, I do like the idea of a steampunk island with steam-powered dogs. Yeah. Uh, also, if it was a steampunk island chain, you would obviously have to use Zeppelins to travel between the islands. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't know travel. what to do. I can't find your faces anymore. I'm we can just be ghosts today. That's fine. I'll leave the call and be right back. <laughs> One second. <laughs> We're hi, hi, everybody. We're live again. <laughs> um, Vivian with with ghosts. So so we're gonna we're I'm gonna center this again. Wow. What what a wild day. Okay. I'm I'm making a game. And it's gonna be a stealthy. Wait, should we do options? We'll do yeah. yeah, do a couple until you find okay. like. Stealthy simulation, planes, dogs you can't pet. This is evil. <laughs> Put that one in there. Huh. Okay. I hope you guys are keeping this in your mind because I'm I'm just They're refreshing. Okay, we can make a tropical exploration sky dogs you can't pet. <laughs> you really don't want to pet dogs today. I do want to. I really do. Okay, let's try again. Hopefully, we can pet these dogs. Make a dithered quiz mountain tower of Babel game. Is that the fish? Yep. Okay. I'll I'll do one more. I don't know if any of these are resonating with you guys. We can make a bouncy narrative. Planes traffic game. Mm. Mm. Thoughts? I so, like the idea of bouncy. Mm. I like the idea that we spite the game generator and we include dogs that are pettable. Wait, dogs that are pettable? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like that. Okay, then with that. <laughs> And yeah, I like bouncy. I also like planes. Let's just pick our favorite words. Yeah, do it. Okay, bouncy <laughs> planes and with dogs that we can pet. Can it be steampunk too? And it could be steampunk dogs. So if we're bouncing, do you think we're bouncing like, which way are you guys? Like this or like this? Well, I like the idea of it kind of being like a pseudo platformer. Uh -huh. The one in which you never come to a complete rest. Mm. You're always bouncing a little bit. Mm. Okay, I like that. And then 
Platforms are in the plains, Richard. Lions. <laughs> the maps for higher platforms. Wait, do you see this sort of like a dog you can't pet? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Which Wouldn't plains on the I was thinking Illinois Great Plain. Ooh, but is it yeah. Savannah Plain? Because that would make sense with lions. No, you should do Illinois and they should be wolves. Or do Wolf. wolves plains? Well, let's not jump on wolves though. You shouldn't jump on wolves. No, jump don't. around the wolves, and that's why we don't want to pet them because you'll they'll bite us. So a tumbleweed naturally bounces. I wonder if we could pick oh. a plane where that would show up. I love that. Okay. I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna make should I make my own tiles? Okay. I'm I'm just gonna oh no, where did it go? I'm just gonna make some sketchy things first. And then maybe we'll make it beautiful. So first I'll make a because it's a plane, it's just gonna be a plane. And I'll make it a wall. Fill it in. And then Yeah, I would say that, that plane is very uh vanilla. <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna have a tumbleweed. So these are, are the what? Are we the tumbleweed, or is this just a scenic tumbleweed? I think we're the tumbleweed, right, Daryl? Yes. Sure. We could be like a little creature, maybe riding along inside of the tumbleweed. <laughs> tumbleweed. Has then you could. Well, you could I would say that if we're it. a tumbleweed, then we should just have normal dogs, but they want to play fetch with us. Ooh. Mm. And we want to bounce around them because we have places to be as a tumbleweed. Yeah, and I like the idea of you don't lose when you get caught by a dog, but maybe the dog just grabs you and runs around wildly for a little bit and then you get free again. So it'll cost you some, some time. And <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds good. Wait, JK, don't do that. Pour this one out. Okay, and then or let's wait. Maybe you get obligated to pet the dog for like a certain amount of time and you're just sort of stopped while that's going on mm. but then it's just a dog petting game because why why would you be discouraged from wanting to pet the dog i, I don't like the dog petting game <laughs> <laughs> let's backtrack let's just have lots of different dogs and we pet them you get 10 points anytime you pet a dog i'll put this on my list i would love to see everybody's dogs Okay, Tom. Is that our task for today? Draw dogs? Yeah, yeah. Dogs. Okay, so we're going to place a tumbleweed here. Oh, we got to follow it. It is gone. Play, or no, it's in, it's in scene. The reason I always can't find it is because I give up too early to try to find the camera follow block. But I just got to commit to it and scroll down. Okay, so we have tumbleweed and I'm going to just make it bounce all the time. So I'm going to set the tumbleweed a y to be gravity. 500. Yeah. Um, and then set. Okay, and then maybe on an interval every whatever we'll set the velocity. And that should be good enough. Right? Yeah, probably. Cool. 100. Okay, let's see if it bounces. No, okay, when it's on a wall, we're going to bounce. Um, hits wall. Okay, let's do this instead. <laughs> Wow, easy peasy. 160. And let's move the tumbleweed with our buttons. Tumbleweed, but not Y. That is uncontrollable. We'll control that with A. It is controllable. Okay, we're a bouncy tumbleweed. Okay, and let's say... Um, I'm trying to think if you push the A button, does it have to be when it's touching the ground for it to be like boosted up? 
Well, like, how do I time that? Is it even touching the ground? Um, so what you could do is that you, whenever you touch the ground, you um, reset. Like if you start a boolean where you have jumped, then you could, when you hit the ground, say have jumped to false. And then when you pressed A, say have jumped to true, and only jump if have jumped is false. Does okay. I, yeah, but instead of jumping only on A, it'll jump higher. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we're going to set this to true. That's a great idea. Okay. And if mm, okay, if have jumped. By the way, no one draw a dachshund because that's what I'm drawing. Dachshund. Is that correct? I have no idea. Dachshund. Yeah. Dachshund. Shannon, I went to Asian Family Market for the first time this weekend. How it was, was it? It was awesome. I got I so much know. food. <laughs> it's the best place. Mm. I was, also, I got bean sprouts and a gnocchi mushroom. <laughs> Is this working? Oh yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not big enough. Got to see a more dramatic effect. Also, I got a spicy. It's not working. Oh, oh, it is working. Um, I got a spicy soup base, and I added it to my soup, and it, which is good because before when I try to make like a spicy base, I just made pepper. I don't know, and then my eyes burned. Okay, wait. So, okay, we're bouncing, and then we're gonna see dogs. I don't. I don't know what's going on here anymore. Something's going weird. Have jumped. Okay. Push A. I push A. That have jumped to true. And then you want to say. Oh. Um, I think it might be easier to do the velocity change inside of the A button pressed. Mm. So it might look a little weird. Like you're at the top and then you get kicked up a bit more. But. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So just here? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so maybe I just... Well, what, what was less. happening there was you did um, on Sprite of Kind hits wall at location, uh -huh. and it hit the top, and the wall is a top, so it was constantly... I mean, the top is a wall, so it was just constantly going upwards. So you need to do, like, an it is hitting wall in direction. Yes, that's which, a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Let's just wrap this around. It has to be a bottom wall. Okay, we have a question in the chat asking, by any chance, do you know C++? Depends on what kind of C++ you want. Mm -hmm. you want I don't to know, know if anybody knows C++. They Ooh. know some subset of C++. But we have a lot of people on call today, even if most of them are good. So you may as well just drop your question in the chat. And just by power of numbers, somebody probably knows the answer. What's up? I definitely don't. <laughs> I don't know. You, if you, I you had to do C++ stuff, right? I had to do C, which I oh. feel like is super different from C++. C++ <laughs> is fancier than C. Okay, this is good enough for me. I love it. Okay, so we have some dogs. Okay, we got to incorporate the dogs. So let's make a bunch of dogs, and if they catch us, then they play with us, and then we have to escape. Okay, so we got to have a goal. Let's just make a really long tile now. One time I used the C++ library to make a loop pedal, and I, I didn't know how it was working, but it was working, and it was cool. Okay. Okay, what am I doing? Now let's make dogs. Make dogs. Okay, let's make five dogs and then make a new sprite let's make okay let's make a sp sprite list yeah dogs oh 
I'll make my dog first. Wait, was Wishbone a thing? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I was wondering if I made that up because I don't know if I ever watched it. I think I just heard about it. It was on PBS. Hmm. I feel like I watched a lot of PBS, but I never managed to watch this. I saw a lot of Arthur. Shannon, were you the one I was talking to about Wishbone? Um, I did watch Wishbone. Oh my gosh, this dog, Vivian. Um, uh, are you making my sister's dog? <laughs> oh, no, I think your sister's dog is is too cute, too smart. This dog it just has one purpose in life, and it's to eat pepper. Maybe it sees our tumbleweed and thinks it's Pepper. Mm. Oh, no. Don't know pepper was the name of our cat growing up. Mm. Did you name it? No. I think my mom did. Mm -mm. It's a very reasonable name. Okay, that's a dog. Do we have more dogs in chat? You got two. Okay. I'm I can... making my oh. dog right now. Nice. Okay, I will just drag out some dogs. Oh, beautiful. 18 by 11 from Richard. Oh, a long dog. This one will be hard to bounce around. <laughs> Are you mad? Oh, it's because it had a number in it for a hot second. Okay, 16 by 10 from Daryl. I had a dream that I had a dog last night, and it was great. Whoa. Yeah, what kind of dog is this? It's, uh, it's a little dog um, after my sister's dog, River. Some sort of oh. stray, you know, mixed up breed. Mm. It looks like a very hungry dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's got the uh, athletic kind of swelt. So, uh, look. It's, what does swelt mean? Svelte. What does svelte mean? It means like streamlined. Oh. Okay. So I just dragged out all the blocks that I thought I needed. I didn't really think about Okay. Dogs look like... Dogs look like, pick a random value from zero to length of dogs look like minus one. Richard, how is yeah. your fingers doing? Oh, they hurt really badly. Mm -hmm. How are you drawing your pixel art with your fingers? Oh, my right hand is fine because when you play a guitar right handed, you hold the strings down with the left hand. Mm hmm. Oh, in your right hand. Okay, I see, I see. Nice. Mm -hmm. okay. Place it on top of a random... Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to make a new kind of tile. <laughs> we don't need floating dogs. We're going to make a new kind of tile that's going to be a, a plains tile. So it's got to have sky and then grass. The great plains. All right. Um, Daryl, favorite dog breed? Uh, I don't have one. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't. Okay. <laughs> you Get a dog person or a cat person, Daryl? It's true. You got me. Does that mean you're a cat person? Yeah, I would say that's a fair assessment. My favorite. Yeah, although I think I'm both. Both. All right, Vivian, you go ahead. What's your favorite? My favorite kind of dog is an old dog. Good. Good kind of dog. Thank All right. you. I've attempted to make a dog. I posted oh, it in you. the chat. Yeah. What's your favorite kind, Hassan? Uh, it's going to be a, a golden doodle. Ooh. Good kind of dog. Mm hmm. Is it different than a Labradoodle? Uh, it's a Golden Retriever uh, Poodle Mix. Oh! 
she not care of dogs? Little dog. Aww. <laughs> so tiny. What about you, Shannon? Um, border collie. Mm. Smart dog. Tiger. <laughs> Uh, do I have to answer this one? This one? Yes. Yep. Huh? Corgi? Corgi. Oh, oh. I can't even oh, show right, it on right. the... Uh, what Aww. kind of corgi? Cute kind ones. Of... Uh, I mean, Pembroke and, and well, Pembroke Welsh and Cardigan Corgis, they're both pretty good. Hassan, how did you cop? Why can't I... Whenever I try to paste Hassan's image in, it doesn't work. Wait. Am I doing it wrong? But it's, it's just it's piece that's this in. Is it bolded? It's big. Okay. There might be some weird formatting stuff going on with his haunts. Okay, I'll put a question mark here for now. Hassan, find a way to make your text small. <laughs> okay, so I'm making some dogs, but they're not coming here. Where do they go? Okay, let's see what's going on. Length of random from zero to here. Dogs look like that's this array. Sorry, <laughs> think I've got not, the signs. I will. I will quarter. <laughs> Super confused why it wasn't working. Okay. For um, I don't know if you've you've been on since we started the quarter system. It's on. But um, we now, whenever we make a function and forget to call it, it's a quarter in the jar. Yeah. And eventually we're going to use all of those quarters to get a team puppy, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they don't have puppies away for free? <laughs> um, well, you, you, need, you need to get, like, food and stuff. Mm -mm. That's true. It can yeah. eat my food. We would adopt the puppy. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. I think when we overlap the tumbleweed or the dog, we'll stop bouncing. The dog will pick us up and run backwards with us for a bit, and then we'll be able to bounce again. And that's why we don't want to touch the dogs. Okay, so I have my set my dog unbolded. I don't know if that helps, but <laughs> let's try this again. We need I some think more. Daryl pasted it. Thank you, Daryl. How did you fix it? I just pasted it in the tux editor and back. Oh, and just same thing. I, like I love it. Four legs. I tried. <laughs> a healthy dog. Okay, so when we overlap the dog, we're going to make a variable, I think. Oh, wait. We're going to not make a variable. We're going to set. We're, oh, we are going to make a variable. Dog is holding me. Said dog is holding me to be this dog. And then on game update. Can I, can I see if it. Can I see if it's a real. Variable. Yes, I can. Because it's a mm -hmm. variable. Uh, I don't know. So I can do. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. What? Nothing. What are you gonna say, Shannon? Oh, so one way you could do this is when you overlap, you could change the kind of the player and then have the player follow the dog, and then have mm -hmm. the dog move, and then maybe use like a lifespan or a timer of some kind to like. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. I love being able to use the things we have. So let's go into sprites kind. And instead of player, we're going to make it worker. No. Mm. Help player. Help. Play. Help. I don't know what kind of dog this is, but mm. it's a snooty dog. No tumbleweed. Uh, I think kind snooty is a, a specific enough kind of dog. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you look at the picture? It's like a type of dog I know. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't know what the breed is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have the no tumbleweed follow the dog. We're going to set the dog's velocity. Vx to be negative 20. It's going to run over to the left. And we're also going to set the life lifespan. Set lifespan of the player to be 1,000, which is one second. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, okay. So then when it gets destroyed, we have to tell the dog to stop moving. I think dog is holding me. Okay, that's good. Can use this variable still. So on destroyed of kind, no tumbleweed. Gonna yes, set Shannon, you are correct. That is a borzoi. Is what I drew. That sounds like a Pokemon. They're very cool dogs. They look very <laughs> mysterious. And then we're going to make a new sprite? Question mark? What happens with the dog after they play with you? Do they just run off screen? Is that the issue? Um, I thought they could just stay oh, where sit. they are. Oh. Sit. <laughs> and then place it on the same place. Oh, but then, then we'll re-hit the dog again. We'll sit. We'll have. We'll just have it run off screen. Or we could just make it a happy dog. Okay, that's a good Good call. I don't want the dog to be destroyed. Um, set. It's kind. Dog is holding me kind. To be new kind. Happy dog. I saw a lot of dogs this weekend outside. It was good. It was a good time. <laughs> you said you went paddle boarding? I I did. It was like, on, so it was starting from Portage Bay and went towards Lake Union. It took forever. Where is Portage Bay? It's in between Union and Washington. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Did you see dogs paddling around? I didn't, and they were very explicit about not bringing dogs onto the paddle board, <laughs> which is probably for the dog's safety. Okay. So we are freed. Now let's make sure we bounce again. So let's do this. Let's, oh, let's copy this block, these blocks over. By the way, I think you should set the bottom of the dog to be uh -huh. on the ground because right now the dock's in this floating. Oh, how do, how do I, do I just change Which, I the... mean, it could be a psychic dachshund. <laughs> should I change position of the dog's you, fly you, based on its height? You, well, one stupid way to do it, but what would work, is if you set the V velocity so that they were traveling downwards. I like it. <laughs> Simple. You could also standardize all the, the heights to 16. Oh man, but would we have to chop some of them up? Yeah. No dog dog cruelty today. We're going to make them fall down. Let me go. Okay, cool. I can't hit those dogs anymore. Okay, now the only issue is we can still move away when the dog is taking us. So we'll just move the buttons with nothing on overlaps. And then, and then we're done. There's our... There's our game. No, there are things to be done. Okay, we have more dogs in chat. I see messages. Oh, Borzoi, Slight Hound. This is your pointy dog, Richard, right? Nudie. Mm -mm. This, if this dog's taller, then it'll probably just fall to the 
depths of the plains? Maybe. <laughs> Joey, did you not make a dog? No, I, I, I already have my corgi. Yeah. There's gonna be you say one corgi is enough for you? No, I have like eight corgis that I've drawn. <laughs> Including the best one, okay. right? The one with the, 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 the bellboy. No, door. Core guy, the door guy. Yeah. <laughs> you could relocate one of these uh, into our, our chat or copy paste it. You know? I'm just saying, there's going to be no corgi in this game. Unless You're right. I'm going to, I'll find the not door guy version of core guy that I do. I'll, <laughs> I'll see. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I'll. I think mm -hmm. these dogs should run a, run around really fast when they catch you. Okay, like their okay. speed should go way up, and they should just like maybe they have a percent chance to change direction. Okay. Um, and when they change direction, we could also flip the image. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when you overlap, we're gonna give them a high velocity in a random direction. Um, if percent chance. 50% chance. There's only two directions. One way and the other way. What's a high velocity? 200? That's really high. 100? <laughs> 100. Okay. And we'll make, make the kind running dog. So then we can overlap or check all the running dogs to make it change direction. Mm, sprites kind. Set the kind to be running dog. How's everybody's weekends? Did anybody else fall into a lake? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, Richard, tell us about your guitar adventures. I'm very curious. Why have you given up before and why'd you start again? I gave up before because of lack of interest, I guess. But I'm much mm. more motivated this time mm. because, um, well, I was watching a TV show and one of the characters was learning to play guitar. And I was like, hmm, I have a guitar. And mm, it always just looks at me judgingly from the corner of my room. Maybe I should learn how to play it. And so mm. now I'm learning how to play it. And um, I, only know, I only know three chords so far, but I realized I can practice chord changes while watching TV. So I've just been doing that mm. idly. Which is why my hands are so um, in so much pain right now. Uh, mm, Turns what? out, if your job is typing professionally, having your fingertips like hurt really badly is um, a hindrance. <laughs> what kind of guitar do you have? I have a Fender Jazzmaster um, electric guitar. Okay, cool, cool. So it's the cool kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is the cool kind just electric, or is one of yeah. the words? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the other words meant nothing to me. Okay. <laughs> no, and actually, this is my, this is actually, I guess, technically my third time, because when I was a little kid, I had guitar lessons for a bit. But I stopped playing that time because I had an acoustic guitar, and I was like, this is lame. I want an electric guitar, but I have only a kid amount of money, so I cannot afford one. Oh. My question is, does like, like does strumming on an electric guitar do so? If it's all electronic sounds, yeah. you, no, it, you can just hear it, you can hear it. It, 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 it makes sound and you know, you can hear if it's right or not. It doesn't need to be plugged into an amp. Mm, okay. If you want other people to hear it, then you should plug it into an amp. Mm. So when you play, do you have an amp or no? I don't do it while I'm practicing because I have neighbors. Nice. But, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, what TV shows do you watch when you play? Hey, that is my personal life. Okay. I, I watch the TV shows I like to watch. But do you pick specific? You only know three chords, but do you pick the chords based on the show? And you have like some minor chords that when it's like scary, it's like minor chords. <laughs> No, I wish. I am following some online lessons, and mm. these are the three chords they started with. 
So I know the A chord, the D chord, and the E chord, and I've just been doing practicing switching between those three. Oh. I feel like D is a fancy chord. Lots of suspense. I really like how the dogs run around with us sometimes when they switch direction. None of these want to switch direction. And I Do like you, that they pass. Uh, wait, can you play guitar, Vivian? Mm, I play ukulele. I don't have a guitar. It's too it's too many strings to keep track of. I like that the dogs can drag us into other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm going to set our B. I'm going to set the dogs a high Z. Oh, but my friend, I I was convinced that I wanted to learn guitar. So I borrowed my friend's guitar before Corona, and I still have it. But I'm not motivated to learn it at all. You should learn it, and then we'll be we'll be guitar jam buddies. Mm, there's a Claire de Lune guitar duet that I wanted to learn, um, but it was hard. But if 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 you want to do the Claire de Lune duet. I'll be good at it. Okay. Maybe when you're when they're done dragging you around, we can make uh -huh. the happy dogs have a heart particle effect. Oh, yeah. So that we know which one to get. That's a good idea. Okay, so not this one, not this one. It's going to be this one. So let's pick out the effects. Okay, also, I think my favorite block might be the effect block now feel like it's very nice useful. i think you need like a cool down period on how long how often you're allowed to switch your favorite block this is my favorite time my first my first time no you switched it like last week i think no i didn't no i switched mine oh yeah all right <laughs> never mind i'm sorry vivian yeah that's right <laughs> okay cool so we have them pooping hearts now and then we got to give the tumbleweed a oh my gosh this is madness <laughs> okay let's have a goal where, what is the tum what is the tumbleweed's purpose? What does it want to do? Bring joy to the dogs? Is that not enough of a goal for you? But but why would I think then we would want to touch all the dogs? Yeah. Don't, don't we want to try to get to the others? Maybe there's a giant dog at the end that we want to play with. <gasps> That's my corgi. My corgi is giant. Really? How big is it? Oh my god. Thirty-six by thirty-three. Is giant. I'm looking at it right now. It's thirty-six <laughs> by thirty-three. Put it at the end. Okay, I'm going to make a pedestal for this dog. And this one will only run around with you if it is if all the other dogs are already happy. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay. Oh my gosh, a pedestal. The king dog. So this is 16. So times two is 32. So it's not even going to be big enough if I have two tiles to put the... We need to have three tiles. Okay, wait, I need to copy this. I need to edit this. And it'll need to be not mm -hmm. the last tile on the right, probably, too. It'll need to be. Oh, why? Two tiles away, because it's th two tiles wide, too. I'm going to make it three tiles wide. Ah, nice. Because it's a big dog. Deserves a big platform. Okay, copy this. Yeah, edit. I like this corgi a lot, Joey, but I am confused as to why he doesn't have paws. <laughs> Uh, I was too focused on, like, as I was drawing him, I was envisioning the top hat and the little uh, bow tie that he was going to have. Because this is core guy, the door guy, but it's just in his okay. off hours. So, um, yeah, he, he doesn't have pops. Core guy, the door guy, when he's hung up his hat. <laughs> yeah. And, um, just doing his passion, which is making other dogs happy. Yeah. And smiling a little bit. Thirty-six by thirty-three. Okay, Richard, I'll learn. I'll learn guitar. I'm. I'm convinced. Whoa! Wait, I don't remember. I don't remember this. This dog from before. Oh, it's kind of like Superman. I think you know where he puts on his glasses. In this case, he puts on his top hat and his bow tie, or and his tie, and you never would tell the difference. It's the same thing. From the Gachapon game. Yeah, he was a super rare Whoa. one from the Gachapon. Right. See, I think it might have been missing his legs, partially. I'm not sure why. I did that. I did that. 36 by 33. Oh, it's 
Wait, I don't know what happened. Why did it? Hmm. That is a good. It okay, like I'll... moved it down on there. Well, there's there's well, just there's paste space. it again. And you should be able to drag it up. It should all still be there. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yeah. Good. Call. Oh, that's why I didn't have pause. <laughs> okay. Why is this weird? Okay. So, do you think for Cory guy, the door guy, to position him on top of the plat platform, I should give him a V Y and then gravity, so he falls down onto the platform? Or is there a more efficient way to do? Well, so can we right make that like an intro scene? Oh, yeah. so like we're right next to Cory guy, the door guy, as it starts, and he just falls from the very top of the tile map onto the pedestal, and we just have like a text effect to intro. <laughs> yeah. He gives you your mission. So oh, was, that would be kind of a beam of light. Uh, <laughs> We're always talking about how we never get like the proper introduction, so we don't actually know what to do if you're just wa playing the game without watching the stream. This can be the introduction. This is great. <laughs> um, okay, so camera. Or, okay, I'm going to call my function first because I'm only spending one quarter today. Okay, and then. Set down. Okay, I'll do this here. Yeah, you get okay, okay. Okay. Camera follow core guy, the door guy, or should it be not moving? Maybe it shouldn't be moving. I'll just place the camera. Place the camera. Mm, don't know what this number should be. Two hundred. If you put it at like five hundred, it'll be constrained within the tile map still, so it'll still be on the far right side of the tile map. And let's wait, let's just take out everything else. Let's just see core guy intro scene. We'll break everything. Oh, okay, cool. So why is too much? It should be like 150. And then X is good. Okay. So core guy, the door guy. I don't want to okay, place. And then we're gonna set the X or the Y by change it by I think you do want to just set it to like zero and then just have them fl fall down. Okay, sounds good. And then set the view, no, acceleration to be 500. <laughs> and maybe, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I want to set a variable. <laughs> intro, intro scene. <laughs> That intro scene to true. <laughs> On. <laughs> oh no! I think what's happening is you made him of kind player. You just need oh. to change his kind. Oh, okay. Mm. Poor guy. Poor guy. Guy. <laughs> On sprite of kind. Poor guy. <laughs> If it's intro scene, then we'll have him say something. Okay, also, I don't, did I not make that a wall? I should make that a wall. Brush, brush, brush. You make it a wall, he's going to be floating. Oh. That's fine. Core guy can float. Yes, he is special. <laughs> um, should we use the storytelling extension so that yeah. we can get, like, the, the screen, like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I like that. Is it still Rick Knoll? Yeah. Okay. Arcade dash story. Core do you pronounce? Do you prefer to be pronounced Rinol or Rick Knoll, Richard? Rinol. Rinol. Talking about my GitHub username, it's Rick Knoll because people <laughs> can make that work. I guess um, no one would ever. So my name is already really hard to tell people. My last name, Knoll. Um, because people can never, it's difficult to pick out all of those sounds, mm -hmm. and then no one knows how to spell it, um, and so I try to spell it, and then I have to say K-N-O-L-L, -L. and saying L twice is also something that is very difficult to do in a way that the other person can hear over the phone. Like, why, why not say double L like a spider? K-N-O-L-L? What do you mean like a spider? Like, like, like Charlotte. What is going on with that? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's really it's far awesome. away. 
<laughs> oh no, it's because it's running every frame, I think. Yeah, yeah. so turn intro it's, scenes it's off. Far away and it's it's running every frame. I see, I see, I see. Set intro frame to false. Okay. Um yes, Hassan, I could use the phonetic alphabet, but I don't know it. What does that mean? Oh, the Lime. lemon. Shannon, do you know it? Lima? Kilo? Um, shoot, I don't know N. <laughs> Oscar, Lima, Lima. Oh, sorry, Hassan? Is it November? I'm not Nevada? sure. Nevada? Mm. I, I knew it at some point because I also had issues with trying to spell my last name over the phone. Um, so... Yes, in is November. Nice. Yay. Wait, Hassan, can you do your last name? November, Oscar, Lima, Lima. Wait, it's Lima, Lima. Lima. <laughs> going to be uh, Sierra Uniform Foxtrot Indigo, I think. Or Wait, I mean, we can make India. this really cinematic <laughs> if, if you have just like, and you are a tumbleweed, and then we have another scene thing, and it just pops you into existence, and then your, your mission is to pet all the dogs, and then it pops all the dogs into existence. Oh my and gosh. Like, start. Yes, okay. Hello, I'm Core Guy the Door Guy. Um, okay, let's make it wider, <laughs> and then move it over. I really don't like hard coding. 50? That seems awfully. Oh, wait, is this based on the screen? Yeah. No, I don't think it is. Boy, this is 50. Maybe it is. That's wild. I don't okay. remember. We should ask whoever wrote this extension. Yeah, it, it, what are they <laughs> doing even? Okay, so, hi, I'm Cooler Guy the Door Guy, and you are a tumbleweed, and then and then I'll make, make this. No, make the tumbleweed. Grab this one. Grab this one. I'm not gonna camera fall yet. Okay. Uh, you can set it. Yeah. And then okay. you might want to put the spawn location next to core guy. Oh, spawn next next to them first. Uh, yeah. Change where the well, on the tab map. Move that little block where he spawns on to the right. Below. Oh yeah, because the, the goal isn't just to move to the end anymore. It's to <laughs> make all the dogs happy. I like that. By the way, this grass is great, Vivian. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, okay. So you are tumbleweed. Okay, we gotta use the cute story parts. Right. Yep. And then put this one in a separate one because then they know they have to be after each other, and then anything after this will secretly run first, though. Yeah. <laughs> I have understanding of this extension now. Okay. A, a better API is coming up. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, and if you put like a pause in the mm -hmm. Hue story part, it'll let it like just flop around for a few seconds first. Great. And then okay, five. your mission is to play. Let play with all the dogs. What do you say dogs? Maybe good boys. With all the or good, good boys, and boys who live who live on the plane. Good pups. Play. Good, good pups. pups. That's Love it. Good pups. <laughs> Plain pups. Wait, and can it be who live on these planes? Uh, yes, beautiful. <laughs> and then, okay, I want to have the camera pan from right to left to see all the dogs. <laughs> so you have to spawn the dogs, and then we can. Hmm. I guess we just make it spread and make it fall. We don't really have panning. Can we set so no just... camera velocity or anything? I guess. No, but we, you can make a sprite that the camera follows, and then you move the sprite over and move it back. Mm, okay. Maybe I'll make the dogs. Uh, say, okay. Interesting to do camera velocity, Daryl, but I'm wondering how you would do that. Like, how would you, how would that interact with the follow sprite? But it would definitely be useful. The 
follow sprite. I think it wouldn't yeah. we just not kind of like the uh, X and Y explicit positions don't. Maybe for this story extension, I should add a camera pan. Yeah, I mean, I want that. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Maybe there is just a camera sprite, which is like all other sprites. And camera follow is now just that sprite follows another sprite. Um, you mean like always create an invisible sprite? But if they set camera yeah. follow sprite. And it and could be the size of the view port or like what you're seeing. Well, it probably shouldn't be that size. I guess internally we could do something different, but um, it would have to be an image to be that size, um, and that would take up code space. I thought you were talking about my secret camera, and it shouldn't be that that size. And I was like, why not? Seems like a good size. Okay, let's see how this looks. I have no idea if these numbers are good. Um, um, you can use the. It might be easier to use the move thing in the story extension. Mm. We don't have pause until an arcade, do we? No, we got rid of it. Okay. That's too bad. We could have done like pause until overlaps with Corgi again and make it bounce in the wall and come back. Mm. Okay. okay, secret so I camera. Think the, mm -hmm. I think the Y should be 150. Was that where you oh. did it? That's great. Yeah, it was obvious. It was too tall before. So 150 with speed 15 to be cinematic. Okay. And the camera follow. Okay, I'm also going to take everything else up for testing. No time for this. High efficiency. Oh, no. In here. Okay. Do you need to make oh. dogs? Oh, I do need to make dogs. Um, well, and you need you, the tumbleweed creation stuff. The, what if you just took out the dialogue? Yeah. The camera follow should come before the move, right? Does move pause? No, it doesn't. No. Oh, it's just handled internally. Okay. Wait, did it, nice. did it, did it work? <laughs> nice. I think the X needs to be bigger, but yeah, okay. it worked otherwise. Cool, cool. Um, 250. Oh, yeah, it was just 500 before. 500. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think the 500 worked just because we didn't calculate it at all and we were just saying move it all the way over to the right because the camera is constrained within that size. 200. Can we see the width? We can just, like, oh, just, just open up the top. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Math. The tile map is 30, 30 times 60. 480. How did you do the math that fast? Oh, it would be 480. Yeah. Oh, Joey. Same B. question. <laughs> uh, so I guess 500 was almost perfect. <laughs> you should just not worry Minus about 60? it. 60? Huh? Um, sh sure, yeah. Or maybe 400 minus 80. So it starts in the center of the screen. Oh, that's so slow. Oh my gosh. Cinematic. We gotta make more dogs. Okay. And then let's put this back. Uh, and we're just gonna make more dogs. Should it pan back to you too? Oh, you so right. Snap. Okay. And then <laughs> let's not move to I really like the idea of like a two minute unskippable <laughs> cutscene at the beginning of the game. Uh-huh. <laughs> Finally get everybody back for like the uh, million of those that I've seen. <laughs> who are you imagining playing this game? <laughs> Every game developer who's made a game that I've <laughs> watched. Oh my gosh, it's everything again. Okay, I'm just gonna test that it works and we're gonna we're gonna oh I don't even have a win condition. Okay. Uh, I also, I think you didn't, you took out some of the tumbleweed initialization code, like the controller stuff. Mm. Never put oh. it back in. Wait, at the beginning. Oh, yes, you're right. You. Uh, we should put that after. You want to, yeah, after. you should put that in the last one. Uh, yeah, do so, another story part. Perfect. Nice. What were you going to say, Joey? 
<laughs> oh, the uh, move to 300, uh, you made that so it only pans partially instead of all the way? Is that intentional? I, that. I, thought, I thought we didn't want to make it a four minute long cut. Oh, I mean, we could just raise the speed a little bit, but either way, oh. whatever. Yeah, no, let's, let's do it. Let's see all the puffs we have to, and let's go 60. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Sixty, and then the camera was following. Uh, it it you need to. Uh, it didn't take the change of the X. The second oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's because I did this. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> Zero. Sixty. Sixty. Okay. It's two o'clock. Should we do outros? I'll, I'll add the win condition and then people can play this game. Okay. Thanks everybody for joining us. Um, it, you know what? It, it, it's October, so it's the spooky season. So that's why it's me plus ghosts on the stream. So we're really just being thematic this week. So oh, I'll fix this later. Okay. Um, I'm Vivian. I'm at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code Forum. I'm Hassan at Hassan on the Make Code Forums. I'm Joey at Jay Wanderl on the Make Code Forums. I'm Richard <laughs> at Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon at Shakao on the Make Code Forums. Bye. <laughs>